Okay, so here we go. Today we have Legion of Blood. Um, this has been a request from one of our viewers. Um, so they asked to see Neff in action. So here you go. We have um, the general, Netherata, Mortark of Blood. She's a com She's got um, as her spell that I've taken, uh, Overwhelming Dread, um, to try and synergize with her minus one um, command ability for the bubble. Uh, in addition, she has a signature spell, which is make something immune to rend. Then we she is accompanied by two um, vampire lords on zombie dragon, one of which, uh, the lady, has the orb of enchantment. We then have uh, a flying vampire lord. It's Kara. Kara's back. And we have, oh, with Spirit Gale, uh, another potential for um, for negatives to hit. We then have a Necromancer with Overwhelming Dread. We have a unit of 40 skeletons with spears. Two units of five dire wolves. The swords. And the geminids coming in at 2,000 points exactly. With no extra command points. Looking at my list now. It's always folly. Always folly. Um, but there you go. A uh, bit of fun. I don't think I've taken... I was just saying a legions list without the White King in... Well, living memory. Um, and I've never taken Legion of Blood without the Court of New Lamia. Um, but the Bloodseeker Palanquin's away on its holidays at the moment, so... Um, this is what we've got. Should be a bit of fun. Um, before we go over and look at the opponents, there's the table. We're playing Battle for the Pass. We don't yet know what realm we're in. Um, we don't know which territory we've got. But what we have is lots of nullification. We rolled up the new table. So the second table is where it's at. We have a nullification chaos icon, a nullification bridge, a nullification beast gate with... Is that volcanic? The volcanic bones, yeah. Volcanic bones. We have a nullification hut, a couple of huts, an overgrown hill, uh, volcanic. Vol volcanic and... Nullification. Nullification and overgrown. Uh, so there's plenty of nullification. Uh, no commanding. No arcane with this, this table. The river's just there for show. Um... Battle for the pass, so you score one victory point for the terri uh, the objective in your own territory, two for the one on the border, and four for the one in your opponent's territory. The territory line goes up to 24 inches. There's a 24 inches no man's land in the middle. So there's that, and what do we have today? Has she buried herself? No, she's just... Oh, she's gone out. She's gone out. There she is. Chicken dog. Right, so what is Neff fighting? So we've got the Skull Fiend tribe again, but this time with no Bloodthirsters, because I have taken leave of my senses. Um, so leading the army instead is a Chaos Lord on Manticore, who has the Skull Fiend tribe artifact and command trait, so he's plus two attacks on his sword, and he generates another, an additional Blood Tithe if he kills a hero. Uh, his lieutenant is the Lord of Corn on Juggernaut, uh, who has the um, Gore Cleaver artifact for the extra rend and then six is doubled it, six is to wound doubling damage. And then we've got a Blood Secretor and then a Blood Stoker and two Slaughter Priests with two, oh, that's what's missing, two units of Blood Warriors and two units of Blood Reavers in Gore Pilgrims. I have forgotten to take out my five Flesh Hounds, which I'd forgotten, um, which, yeah, they're still in a box. Uh, <laughs> other than that, we've got four Cargoraths in individual units and a unit of five Wrathmongers, and then a set of Hex Gorger Skulls to round it out to 1,980. Those skulls are going to be the bane of Neff's life. What are you doing, Chicken Dog? Chicken Dog's got a quiff. Right then, we'll get the stuff out, we'll roll stuff, and we'll come back in a moment and tell you where we're playing. Okay, we've rolled off. We're in uh, Eric's one as usual, and you've chosen... <laughs> Shaiish. Shaiish. So everything's nullification. There's the... The six up um, shrug for a command point that does nothing for my army. Um, 
Yeah, Realm of Death's been invaded, but it doesn't do great. And the spell is for cast on a seven, and you get plus one to cast endless spells. Uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Um, what else were we just doing? Drops. Oh, we, yes, drops. Um, I am eight. Your ten. ten. So we'll we'll do the dice roll for that actually. Yes. I'm using a little dice today. Four. Six. Uh, um, okay. I'm going to choose this territory because it means you've got to deal with volcanic. Ah, right, yeah, because we're going down the way, aren't we? Going that way. Right, so I've got this end and I'm coming towards the camera. Okay. Yes. No bother. Um, what we, we had a suggestion because I whine about auxiliary objectives. Apologies. Apologies. We had a, a suggestion uh, from one of our um, commentators on last week's report that we should randomise them. So we have we've uh, we've got the stack, we shuffled it, and then we used a d20 to give ourselves two each. We've not re um, revealed them to each other. We know what they are. Um, after deployment, we're going to then reveal them to each other, and we'll do it on the camera um, so that we can see what's what. Uh, so and um, it's quite nice. It's made it a little bit, a little bit narrative. Um, Certainly dramatic in my case. Yeah, mine, mine's not too bad. I was quite happy with what I got. Um, and then before we start, um, our viewers, uh, the most views come from the states again, and then to Germany, and then France. So thank you very much. Mm. Uh, we're on Brewdog, double or nothing. A double offset high, hazy IPA. It is good. And I'm I'm on the, the goodbye juice, the alcohol free lost. Fair play. I've still not tried that one. Um thank you to the daddy, to Adam. Now he's with us again, he's still there, he's going on the wall next week. It's the end of the month. Um and then there'll be an opening for a new daddy. Uh thanks to our VIPs, to Mark Roberts, Grant Fraser, Paul the Duca, the Bazooka. Uh, Stephen Ramage, Gary Stephen, Thomas Stott, Cara Newby, who's appearing today, um, Sean McKechnie, and Andrew Stephen. Thank you very much. Mm. We're going to do our deployment, and then we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to come back. What's that? What's Okay, so we have deployed. Um, we are playing down the table, as you can see. So um, the forces of death have a strong flank here um, with Neff and her two uh, vampire lords on their zombie dragons. We've got the unit of 40 with the necromancer and the vampire Kara um, sitting on the backup home objective. This one at the moment is empty, but we've put grave sites. That's what these tokens are on the uh, center. The idea being that we can pull the two units of dogs out onto the objectives. Um, what about yourself? Um, what's, what's what's the thinking here? Well, this is was, a lot of bodies. I was keeping deployment relatively even on both sides initially because I wanted to see where you were going to put the dragons. Yeah. Um, and then you put the dragons down, so it was just like, okay, the corgis are going there. Yes, all four of them. All four of them. Dancing. It's like they're doing the conga. It's so, a corgi conga. A corgi conga. So how fast can a corgi move? I think it's only eight. They're not quick. Okay. Nothing in this army is quick, apart from the, the man, of course, the fastest. Yeah, it's quite scary. It is quite scary. Um, so... 
we have to reveal our objectives, our auxiliaries. Yes. So myself, I have assassinate. When I reveal this objective, my opponent must pick one unit in their army that is a hero, and I complete the objective if that hero is slain. So who am I going to try and kill? Thanks for Tales of Sigma for the cards. I'm going to get my list and I'm going to roll a d6. Ho oh, ho, he's going to do that. He just doesn't care. It's the Blood Secretor. The Blood Secretor. He's the guy with the flag thing, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, I'm going for him anyway. Yeah, he, he, t- he tends to be priority number one yeah. for most armies. I probably shouldn't pick the Blood Secretor, but I'll roll yeah. them. So, ah, yeah. well. And my second is Cornered. So uh, I complete this objective if I have two or more uh, friendly units within three inches of the same enemy hero at the end of any turn. So those are my auxiliary obje- objectives. Quite like that. So, I've got Headhunter. Okay. I complete this objective if all of the leader units in your opponent's starting army are destroyed <laughs> by the end of the battle. Okay. And then I've also got Domination. You complete this objective if three or more enemy units are destroyed in the same turn. Okay. Oh, well. so, so you're just going to kill these three in turn and then, one, and then you've won. You've got it. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> then you've got, got the major. Then you've but... got the major. Anyway, so yeah, I, I think I've killed those three in turn one. I I should get the major, but yeah, I think it battle for the pass with the amount of points that are on offer. Yeah, it's quite difficult, I think, to tie. But we'll see. We tend to be able to tie most games. Yes, or at least come very close to it. Yeah. Uh, so you start with a command point. Yes, I do not. Um, now, rather than me do my normal thing and pull the two guys out on the objective, which I would normally do, I think... No, I am. I'm going to do it. Right, I'm going to take it. Cool. So we're going to go into Legions, turn one. So, um, it was fairly sparse. All we did was we've made this uh, Vampire Lord immune to rend. Um, None of the other spells were successfully cast. We've summoned five dogs to put five on this objective. And we've summoned... uh, Kaura has moved forward and summoned five dogs. One of... Just one of them um, within range of the objective. So, um, we... Yes, we're going to be murderized, but the the benefits being we can bring them back. Um, so just worthy of note for people, um, Legion of Blood, Vampire Lords, and Vampire characters get plus one attack and minus one bravery from units within six inches. So that's Legion of Blood. Um, and Corgi's move six. Yes. But there you go. So it's... Five points to the legions of Nagash. There you go they've advanced look at that with anger so there's been some running some um, running <laughs> but both center objectives have been claimed um uh there's plenty of what six uh reavers plus a corgi on this one um so that's that's taken that objective from my five um and you've got five dogs and two reavers on that one currently five dogs and two reavers 
Um, there's no sh- aren't going to be making a charge. Yeah, they've they're what what's going on with them? They're angry, aren't they? Yeah, the Bloodstoke has equipped them, so they've got plus three to their charge roll. And they're also plus one attack. Uh, plus one to hit and plus one attack. Yes, nice. So you have no sh- shooting because mm-hmm. the corgis ran and they're out of range anyway. Mm-hmm. The hex gorgeous skulls are out. Um, it's looking good. Uh, the manticore's on the bridge because he wants to look good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and where are the charges then? The reavers, that's it. Everything the reavers needing ran. a seven, aren't they? Yeah, need a seven with the plus three. Okay. That's um, a three. Am I going to spend a command point this early? No. No, no command point to be taken. I've got the objective anyway, so I'm just, that would just be greedy. Okay, so at that stage, um, it goes to five points to Blades of Corn, taking yeah. it to five, five points, apiece. five each, and we have some priority. Right, I'm giving these dice one more turn to try and prove themselves. <laughs> Two. Four. Hmm. Um... <sighs> I'm going to give it, yeah. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at the end of the battle round, I need to roll to see if the skulls stay on. Oh, okay. Five. Oh, they only bloody do. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I am quite happy you gave me that because I've not got any of my my buffs up um, and I was a bit concerned. So at least... I can't hit you with enough stuff all at no, once. No, I think so. I think you'd only get into the two units of dogs and then yep. risk being double turned, so it's probably for the I'm best. I'm not getting double turned by dragons. No. Okay, so we're going to go into Legions, turn two. Uh, casting again wasn't great. The Geminids did come out, so um, we have got this unit are on minus one attack, minus one attack. They've also had Overwhelming Dread on them, so the minus one to hit and minus one bravery. Um, these three have got minus one to hit. to hit, these bottom three corgis. Three mortals, one, 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 one. Um, and then the rest... Of the force. Uh, Neff's used a command ability, so there's a minus one to hit bubble within 15 inches. Yeah. Um, The dogs have got Van Hells on them, and Kara has moved around as well. So the idea is we're going to try and kill those five flesh hounds and these blood reavers. Uh, And that is about it for this. That's our objective. Um... And probably one Corgarath. I'll try and kill a Corgi as well. Um, so we're going to go to shooting. Um, these dice are really good at rolling ones. This is where they change around. But um, we're going to go with... Let's go and try and kill a Corgarath. How many wounds do they have? Eight, eight is it? Eight. eight. Right, so I've got two shots. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother going into the... Reavers, I need to try and get rid of one of those corgis. So I'm gonna go. I think those Geminid placements gonna come back to bite me as well. I can't now get into this screen. But I was trying to block you at the same time, so we'll see. Right, so we're gonna go with the first one is gonna go into this car graph. I need a one to auto hit. So now I need a three to hit. Yep, and a two to wound. Yep, so rend three. Straight through. Uh, so it takes four. Which brings up to five. I'm switching dice, and the other one's going into the same one. Needs a one to auto hit. Mm-hmm. Nope, so it needs a three. Yep, and a two. Yep, yep. straight through. Straight through. Two. two. 
So it's still there. Still there. Okay. It's no great. Um, so that is shooting. Uh, so we're going to go to charges. So we're going to go with um, this unit of dogs first of all. Uh, are we? And we're going to go with this uh, zombie dragon first of all. Gets a six. So, sorry. So it can fly. So it's just going to pop across. Oh. Yeah. The base, base gonna isn't going to make it. No. I needed to move the dogs first. So that fails. So the dogs are going to charge. Four. Four. So that's okay. They were only three away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to keep the manticore out of three. Yeah. Um, yeah, fine there. Uh, in fact, are we? Yeah, we're gonna go over here. I can't pile out because the skulls are gonna actually um stop my watts as well. Mm-hmm. We're going into the um with the other dragon. Yep. So um the other dragon is gonna charge though. Let's see if yeah. I can get into the blood warriors. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven. seven. Might be enough. Um, um, this is six. Oh, no. Not. No. No. Oh. So they both, they all fail. Um, no great, but could what be worse. Uh, the other dogs, well, I'll go with Cara, uh, you know, the other dogs first. They ten. ten. So they're going into the dogs. Yeah, they're going to go into the... And I assume they don't want to take the Reavers in. Uh, no. Because the Reavers are kind of... A bit vicious. Yeah, no, just round the front of the dogs. Yep. Um, not too far round, because I'm going to be trying to uh, stretch them. Um, so, yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's, let's go like that. That'll okay, do it. Cool. And then Kara needs a three. She yep. gets a nine. So she's going to go into the... That one? Uh, no, oh. she's going to go into the front one, just right. Uh, no, no. Yep. Uh, but an inch away from the volcanic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just thought you might want her on the objective. Uh, because you're not. You're yeah, she can pile in though. Yeah, she can pile in. That's fine. Hopefully, I'll kill those dogs. Mm. Um. You just need to kill three of them. Yeah. Well, I'll go with the f unit of dogs first. Mm. So. Yar, yar. I'm a pirate. All right, there they go. So, uh, I'm going to do this. Isn't immediate, is no, no, I have to reactivate them. Well, combat's over. Um, we've claimed this objective over here. Kara mopped them up. Um, so we are um, scoring that one with four models to two. But over here, it's tied on 7-7. Seven, seven. So uh, Korn have used a command point to make them immune to battle shock. So because they held it at the end of last turn, they retain control of it this turn. Um... So I score three points, taking it to five, uh, eight, points to five. eight points to five. But now Korn gets to counter strike and potentially with a double, this could go horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, that minus one to hit is a problem. Minus two on those card piece. Yeah, I, I need it.
Well, before we go to the shooting phase, tell us about hero phase. What buffs were put on? What's happened? So we've got killing frenzy on these unit of this unit of levers again. Mm-hmm. So plus one to hit. We've got the the bloodstoker equipped the jugger lord, and he's also got bronzed flesh on him. So he's plus one to save, rerolling wounds, and plus three to charge. <laughs> um, so that was all the buffs that were applied. Other than that, the slaughter priests have blood boiled. Uh, Kara had sort of blood boiled down for six mortal wounds, saving yeah, one. She's got one left. And then the dragon nearest me was blood boiled also for six wounds, saving one. Yeah, so he's got nine left. Yes. Um, the cog is have moved forward, ready to do some shooting. Yep. Um, two of them can shoot the dragon. Yeah, although two um, might just put and, two into the wolves. And two can go into the or. Oh no, he's in combat with. He's them. in combat with the wolves anyway. So, so yeah, two, in, the two into the dogs, uh, two into two into the dragon. Yeah. Uh, and then things have got ready for a charge. A double turn at this stage is pretty scary, to yeah. be honest. But you've got shooting. So uh, what's yep. shooting? So the corgi that's not in combat at the back is going to shoot the dogs. Yeah. And he's a six to hit. Yeah, because the minus he's one minus one. two. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, six is to hit. Uh, he actually gets one. Oh, come yes. on. Uh, what do you actually need to wound? I never expected this to work. Um, Bloody he needs a, those oh, dice. Oh, sorry, no, he, he hits on a five. Okay. So he's he's st- a six still hits, though, a doesn't it? A six still hits, yeah. That's just, I can't remember if it rolled fives or not. Um, don't think I did. Uh, wounding on a four. Four, one. So there's no rend on the dogs. Uh, so a five. Crap dice. Okay, how many? Don't you get your shrug? It's just one. Is it just one? So yeah, six. Nope. So this dog's dead. <laughs> and then the unit in the corgi in combat with them. The minus one attack applies to ranged attacks as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What I thought so. It's only two attacks. So. Um. So he's hitting, and he's hitting on fours because he's only minus one. So fours and fours. So he gets one hit. And doesn't wound. Good. Then the other two corgis then into minus, the dragon. Then minus two to hit. And minus two, so they hit on fives. And the min- they're not minus one attack, though. No, they're not. So that's just six attacks. from this. I'm just rolling them both at the same that's time. That's these two here, people. And they get two hits. Two hits. Moving on fours. So one save on the dragon at no rend. Uh, so three plus. Of course. That's yes. a five, so good. Happy days. She likes that. Maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see if see if the blood madness takes. This um, is craziness. So look at that. Look at that. How they've advanced up the, the table. They're angry because they were so far away. I'm thinking now I should maybe have put the twenty skellies in the grave and defended hard on one of the centre ones and just gone right at the back over there. But we are where we are. If if these three can survive this turn and I don't get double turned, it's not over. Yeah. So, charges. Yes. What do we have? So, start with these reavers. So, they're needing like a three. It'll be a three. They can't fail it because they've got plus one, so I just need to make sure they stay within 16 of the blood secretor. So, you'll get there. You'll get there. Uh, This is not going to be a huge amount to do. It'll be enough. As long as Kara and the dogs die, it's fine. Uh huh. Um, right, so that's that. Poor Kara. He does abuse our patrons. I do, I do. <laughs> he takes pleasure in it. I take great pleasure in it. It's wonderful. Um, the Jugger Lord is charging into a dragon. Yeah. Uh, oh, he, he can't fail. Easy, he's yeah. got plus three. Um, crunch. Crunch. Um. Am I going to send the Blood Warriors in? That'd be funny. It'd be a Blood Tithe. It'd be a Blood Tithe point. They're not really going to do much else. No, they're going to stay there at the moment, make a nuisance of themselves. Um, so I'm going to charge some Corgis. I am going to charge right. some Corgis. Right, let's see it. Um, so which way do you want to go first? From nearest to me to you, so the one at the back first. This fella first, so he's going to need... Something. Well, it'll be a three to get into the dog, and it'll be a 
seven to get to her. Okay. But you only need a three and then you can slide. Yeah, then can slide around the dog. Um, so yeah, on the back, get to seven. So seven's enough. Into Do you the want dragon. To just up front? Yeah, just okay. into the dragon. I can squeeze it through that gap. I can slide it through that gap yep. to get the other two in. So then the next corgi gets a five. Mm. Well, that's six. That's not going to be enough uh, to get the dragon, I, I think. think. No, I think you might be just out. It'll go into the dogs. Okay, so. And yep. then the other corgi. It's probably going to need a six. Gets an 11 into the dragon. Crunch. And on the objective as well. Like yeah. This is looking scary. Um, I should have just moved the Wrathmongers further up. That's fine. I think that is that for charges. Okay, so I'll put that there. This is just to remind me that the these three to... are minus one to hit, yep. plus the minus one to hit from Neff. Yep. So they're minus two to hit. Yeah. Neff's so good. Uh, these are minus one attack, and they're minus one to hit as well. So yeah. we're all we're, we're working it out. We're there. Um... Then at the start of the combat phase, I'm going to spend a command point to give the Juggerlord reroll ones to save. Okay. Being uh, able to burn blood type for um command for command points. points is so strong. Yeah. Um, I think that's all I'm going to spend. Um, I am going to activate the Orb of Enchantment. And uh, I'm I will spend a command point on the. Manticore Lord for the Skull Fiend ability. So at least one Corgi will be re-rolling everything. Ooh, maybe three. Yes. I can get three Corgis re-rolling everything. Okay. Well, getting going rolls, we get to re-roll. Uh, well, I shall use the Orb of Enchantment on this Corgi then. Uh-huh. So it doesn't do anything this turn. Oh, it just straight up doesn't get to attack. Doesn't That's get fun. to attack, can't use abilities, can't do anything. Okay. I, that was built just to kill Archeon. Yeah. But you didn't bring Archeon. No, I didn't. So I thought, oh, this is a waste, but this might keep her alive. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a one-hit artifact. Okay, uh, cool. Basically, you can't pile in, you can't attack, uh, you uh -huh. can't use abilities. Cool. It's good for people like Arca Arca Archeon because you don't even yeah, get you your mortal wound sa yeah. saves or anything. Everything under the section that says abilities on the war scroll uh -huh. doesn't work. Cool. So yeah, so that one's not going. Cool. Cool. Um... Where am I going to start? I'm going to start with the Blood Reavers because mm. they don't survive anything. Okay, so you're trying to kill Kara and the dogs to yeah. consolidate that objective. Yeah, everything else is kind of secondary. Okay. Really. I mean, Juggerlord has tanked up as it can be. Yeah, Two okay. Two save re-rolling ones, so Reavers. Right. So they're one attack each. Plus one from the Blood Scraper, plus two, plus another one from the Blood Scraper, so the three each. Uh, you'll need shimmy, these two will shimmy around, so we'll get all of them in. So we've got three into Kara, and then the rest into the dogs, so it's nine attacks. Right, and we will come back at the end of combat. If there's any critical ones that we want to see, we'll maybe stop it. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of dice. So, That's a lot of blood type. domination is scored. Kara and the puppies died on one flank. They went first. Then down here, um, the the dogs died. So, uh, we've killed a couple of corgis. Um, we used the orb of enchantment, so this one couldn't go. Uh, that's still on one. That's only taken one wound, so is this one. Um, they're still... Uh, 
well, there were minus one attack. That's going to go away now because uh, minus one to hit because we're going into a new battle round. Yes. Uh, the Geminids were dispelled. At the end of the round, I need to roll a dice to see if the skulls stay on. I need a five. They do not. Good. Um, That's pain. Well, you're going to score though. You're going to score five, five points, taking it to ten, ten eight. Point, ten points to eight. So yeah, I really need priority. Um, yes, I do. I really do. I need to win priority, heal up, and do some damage. So, I'm going to go Northern Invasion, even though you're going to go Northern Invasion plus one. Yeah. I'm going on to the objective. Six. Oh, you've got oh, it. I think I have to take it. I can't see me surviving without taking it. Um, if you take it now, you're going to score five points again, and I don't think I can claw it back. So we're going to take it. I'll more than likely be taking a dragon off as well. Yeah, we're going to take it. We're going to get another command point. Can I do it five blood tithe? Because I can spend it in your hero phase as well as mine. Um, we are going to be healing, drinking from our chalices. Poor Kara didn't get to, again. Um, down here we can, though. Um, one positive is that the home objective of the opponent has been left open. So if pinions can come off, we can get onto that. So that might be our so, play. I can get this right. Mm, here we go. He's going to do some horrid now. Yeah. Your hero phase, Neff's command ability comes off, right? Yes. So I'm not minus one to hit anymore. Uh, it lasts until my hero phase. So yeah. 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 But I get to do my... Oh, no, it's start of hero phase yeah, stuff start I do. Of hero yeah. phase. Um, so I could spend my blood tithe and have the Juggerlord pilot in attack. I believe so. Um, I'd have to have a quick look. I could start of hero phase any command abilities I wanted to do hmm. that were start of hero phase ones. Yeah. So if Nef has a start of hero phase command ability, she would get to do I, it. I don't think so. I think it's healing. My hmm. healing I can do start of hero phase. Oh, yeah, that's it. But that's only for summoned units, really. The grave sites and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Which I don't have any because somebody's killed them. <laughs> My summoned units. Yes. Um, I think that all the char all the chalices and things are in the hero phase. So I think, yeah, you'd probably get to go before me. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to do that. Mm. It's probably a good move. So you're going to do that now, then? Yes. Okay, well, we'll see that. Tithe. I think... Uh, so I've got four attacks with the Juggerlord. Yeah. Threes and threes, we roll it once to hit. Still got I've the re-rolls. Re and that... I've still got re-roll wounds as well, because that's until my next hero phase. Okay. This could I'll be a dead... check it, but I'm pretty sure... This could be a, a dead dead dragon. All right. Um, so he's got three... Four hits. Oof. Double check Bloodstoker is... I'm pretty sure it's next hero phase. We have always done that anyway. Yeah, until, oh, it's until your next movement phase, rather. Okay. So we'll see. Yeah, so... Um, so you he's go. rolling wounds. So he's wounding on threes, we rolling wounds. Sixes have six damage. Okay. So we've got three... Four saves at minus two. So five ups. Uh, three go through. So it's D3 damage. Okay. Four, two, four, five. So that's sixes. So it takes four. Four. So he's taken three, eleven. six, seven, eleven. So he's taken eleven. Yeah. Happy days. And then we go into... Um, that's going to put him right down with his movement, though. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to be the one going for the objective. And it's the one closest to it. It is. Um, he is going to have his chalice. I'll roll it here. Yep. Always a one. See? See? <laughs> Every flipping time. Yeah, so there we go. Um, right, I'm going to go through the hero phase. Consider some movement. If she gets pinions off, mm -hmm. I'm going to try for it. It's going to be difficult because... Let's look at it. Uh, well, we'll measure it out. I have to be three away from you. And three away from the mongers. Well, be... Yeah, so we'll do some measuring, uh, see whether or not you can do it before a cast.
So not a great deal happened. Uh, there was a lot of um and ah in because I needed to know where to put Neff. Um, there wasn't many spaces for me to get where I needed to get. Um, pinions was the only spell really that got off, I think. Yep, Bloods of Creator doing his job wonderfully. <sighs> yeah, the reroll to cast was pretty devastating, but pinions got off, so she ran and claims the home objective. Um, we did get Van Hells off on the big unit. Mm-hmm. Uh, big unit's going to need an 8-inch charge to get into the uh, Reavers, but it's a lot less to get into the Warriors. Yep. Neff's come round the back, used a command ability again to give the minus one bubble, and she's brought five dogs out of the grave. Um, they're not going to charge this turn, um, but they're acting as a bit of a scream to my own own objective and potentially offering a threat to come for this later. The main thing I need to do this turn is make that charge, try and kill those Reavers, and Neff wants to kill this clown down here, um, which is not going to be easy. Uh, I I missed with the breath, as ever. Mm-hmm. She can't shoot because she ran. So, yeah, that's that. We've got a couple of key charges. So I'm needing about a six with the skellies. The auto six. The auto seven, don't they? No, auto, auto six. Auto six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but they get an 11, so that's plenty. 11. So I'll be able to move them up. Uh, Neff's going to need a three. I will roll it now, just just for the sake of completeness, just so I can do it on thing. So she gets the three. <laughs> she gets the three. So she's in. They're in. I'll move them up. We'll go through combat. I may even show Neff rolling that six on the dagger to kill that thugger lord. Right, uh, combat's done. Um, we've done some damage, but this Thugger Lord is a beast. Um, he's got a wound left. Um, I think, did we say he's got one, four, eight? Oh, he's got two left. The yeah, he's two left. The um, vampire. Um, we took out the Reavers and the Blood Warriors. Uh, three uh, Watsits have, have died, so yep. they can't fail their Battle Shock. I don't understand what that is. No. Um, but yeah, um, so I score four, five, six, seven. seven points this turn. Um, which puts you on 15. So 15 to 10. 10. Um, going into though, uh, con turn three, and I can't imagine there'll be a great deal left at the end. That dragon's dead for sure. Mm-hmm. This dragon with. Wrathmongers and yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Um, these get to come off. I've not actually healed a single wound from a gravesite yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see what's what. Right, so we've had movement. Um, the Manticore is going to kill uh, the Handmaiden of Neff. Neff, right? Tell tell the world about Blood Boil. Tell tell them. It turns out, Blood Boil is a bit good when you only roll six mortal wounds every time you roll it. Every time. Every time. So uh, yeah, 
bit jammy on that front. So he's done four blood boils and he's done 24, 24 mortal, mortal wounds. wounds. So Neff just took 12. Look, yep. thankfully she saved three. So she's got two wounds left. The vampire lord's got two wounds left. Mm. Um, and we're now going into shooting. Um, and the Korgoraths are going to kill either Neff... Well, no, it has to be the vampire. Because they've only got a six inch range. Completely forgotten what I was looking at again. Uh, not that nice. Um, so it's just. It's two corgis yep. shooting off a vampire. Minus one. Yep. Oh, minus actually. One. Actually. Yeah. Uh, Neff's bubble is considerably diminished. Oh, wait, just yes. <laughs> so. Um, um, let me just. Oh, look at this. In action. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Neff is the linchpin, and she got absolutely taken to pieces by bloody blood boil every time. Fucking every time the bastard plays me. Right, so... <laughs> he's, he's not better. No, not at all. So she's <laughs> suffered nine wounds. Yep. So, do you know how big it is now? Twilight's a law? Go on, give me a guess. It's how good. big? It's how good. big is it the... Was, it was 15. Yeah. It was 15. So I'm going to go 13, 11, 9, 7. Three. Three. Three inches. <laughs> so basically, if you're in combat with her, you're now distracted by a beauty. No more do the choreographs I mean, find her particularly attractive. I'm, yeah, when, when there's blood coming out. Actually, the... it's no blood. Yeah. It's just, it's just wrong. Yeah. So, uh, two choreographs are shooting a vampire lord. Yeah. Um, so they're not at minus one to hit now. No. So they're hitting on threes and zooming on fours. Okay. Are they still getting extra attacks? No, it only applies to melee. Oh, okay. Even like, still even quite Rath a lot. I, even Wrathmongers don't do that anymore. They used to be able to stuff extra skulls into skull cannons. It was beautiful. Um, but then they executed it. Wow. Such uh, is life. Zooming on fours. You can't have everything in this world. Yes, you can. Uh, three saves at no red. So threes. Let's keep him alive, people. Yeah, oh, that, well, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do it. That'll oh, do I wanted it. them when I'm biting you or something, though, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. So, charges. Yeah, there might be a couple. Um, and you've again. How many command points? I've got three. Three again. It's ridiculous. Um, anyway, let's let's see this. <laughs> so, find the core lord into the dragon. Double one! And it gets 11. Shh. will shoot around here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Wrath Oh yeah, they need a three. They That's a, a shot three. Uh, Just about. Three will be enough. Yeah, they were three away. So. Yeah. I think you said you could move to three away. Yeah. Um, that piling should get them on the objective. Mm, maybe one of them. Maybe, it only needs to be one. Um, so <coughs> them. Now, the Corgis. So. Uh, Two threes. Corgi number one. Yeah, double one. I'd like a little bit more than that. No. Uh, I'll get a four. four. That'll do. Just. I'll be able to pile around into Neff with a four. You won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't. And the other Corgi. You don't want to pile around into Neff. Yes, I do. If you pile around into Neff, you minus one. <laughs> I just don't... No. No. I don't really mind. You don't. There we go. Con does good. Actually, go... There. It's my grave site you're moving. No, I was moving it back, so I moved it before. <laughs> um, so yeah, that'll work. Cool. Um, so that was all of the charging. The jug of that lad's got one wound left, hasn't he? Yes. Right. So you'll never guess who's attacking first. He's dying, he's dying. But before that, at the start of the combat phase, the jugger lord will use the skull fiend command ability. For? For the, the um, corgis re-rolling hit and wound rolls. If they're wholly within ten of him. Mm-hmm. Does that um, still apply if he's dead? No. So he's also going to re-roll save rolls for one. Okay. Um, I shall... There's only him going to be into Neff, because yep. what's the range on these clowns' attacks? Uh, just one. On the right. so they're not getting into Neff. It's, they've only got him. So does she think... He's That's got Neff's... four attacks, has he? Yeah, four, well, seven when you include the juggernaut. Well, there'll be eight, including the juggernaut, rather. The juggernaut's a bit rubbish, though. Does she want to even bother going with... See, he kills her, mm -hmm. he kills him. 
Yeah. They kill him. Two Corgis. All this. Yeah. Hmm. It's whether or not spending my last command point is a good move to re-roll ones. She's only on a four. What's his rend? Two. So she's on a six. Ah, fuck that. Oops, sorry. PG. Um, no, I'm not bothering. Uh, I am going to go... There, Ren's one. Ren one. So he's on a three up to a... F- I'm not going to bother. No. I don't care. I don't care. We we can take it. We don't need command points. Yeah, no, no command points. We don't need necessary. it. No. Nope. So what's going first? Jugger Lord. Into Neff. Neff. Right, so minus one to hit. So he's hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Let's see it. All twos. <sighs> that is ridiculous, look. Look, two, two, two ones, two, two re-rolls. Okay. Still so only th- two hits. Yeah. We're yeah. on threes. Two no re-rolls. Two saves. Minus two. Sixes for Neff. Double six for Neff. Come on, Neff. Come on, Neff. There's one. D3 wounds. Oh, you need to roll a one. Roll a one. No. Two. Oh, two. I need to roll a six. <laughs> one six on two dice or she's dead. Yeah. Come on, lucky dice. Come on, Cancon. Come on, Cancon. Oh, fuck off, Cancon. <laughs> <laughs> Neff's dead. There you go. Denied. Again. Bloody blood tithe. Right, nice. so it's me. So I've got to go with. Um, my skeletons are never going to kill that clown. So I'm going to go with him into the Jugger Lord. He's putting everything into him. Yeah. He's not happy. He's going to kill him. So threes and threes. If he kills Neferatus Slayer, then he can take her position in the car. That's what it is. Yeah, for like three minutes till the uh, thing is <laughs> till, <killing. the> <laughs> till the cord is tearing into pieces, yeah. Uh, so, threes and threes. So that's four at rend one. So it's threes re-rolling ones. I should have split my attacks, but I never split my attacks. Uh, he's dead. Dead. See? Don't even have to... Oh, but he heals a wound. Mm-hmm. Boom. Heal. So that's another... Your activation. Time. I should have. I should have split my attacks, but such is life. All right. So, corgis are safe, don't need to worry about that. Manticore. Oh, uh, no, yeah, Manticore, we'll go to Manticore. So he'll shuffle sideways, just to make sure. Should Hobby. Yeah. Skellies are out of range. So Hobby with an eight, so he's plus two attacks. So we are on Demon Blade, three attacks. That's two from the art attack, Blood Secretor, Wrathmongers. Okay. We don't get any of this crap. We've threes got the oldest threes. bloody book in the game. Yeah. Threes and threes, three rolling ones, sixes are mortal wounds. Okay, let's see it. Uh, All the twos. Two twos. Mm, that was two. Another two. And a mortal wound. Come on. That's one mortal, there's a six. No, it's not. Okay, so she's took one so far. Yep, so it's three down, um, 11 to go. Winding on threes. <laughs> Uh, is three saves at minus one. Pause. Uh, takes two. D3 damage for three. Sixes. Uh, that's a number three. She's taken six. It's, it's all right. I'm going to roll one on my chalice in a minute. Five, six, seven attacks with fangs and claws. Threes and ones. Threes and ones? It starts at ones. I don't know why. Oh, no, I'll be rolling all hits because I'm hitting a monster, I think. Where is it? Territorial. We roll hit rolls, yes. Is that in yours or my territory? Is that I, in I any just have territory? to be tar- a monster. It used to be okay. based on territory, yeah. but now I just need to be hitting a monster. Uh, they miss helps anyway. <laughs> a lot. Um, <laughs> you're alright. Uh, wounding on ones. Uh, ones still fail automatically, though. So, Friend. Uh, one. Uh, two go through. Uh, two damage. Uh, sixes. Oh, so that's another four. So two, four. four, six, ten taken. Four left. And seven attacks with the tail. The tail is shit. Yeah, no, but still. It's better than a dragon. Look how small it is. God, but the manticore is better now. Ugh. Uh, uh, 
Yes, that is four hits. Four. Take them ten. Yep. Rathmongers are going to finish her in a minute. Yeah, they should. Uh, so it's three saves, no rend. So, threes. Ugh. Just one damage. One damage, sixes. Uh, so take one. So she's got three left. Three left. Oops. So she's going to, well, have to put everything into the Wrathmongers. Yep. Even though it's probably a bad idea because they do shit back to me. Well, they do a lot of wounds to you when you kill them. <coughs> yeah. I've got to. I've got to do it. Otherwise, they're going to do more damage mm -hmm. just hitting me. Yeah. So, uh, threes and threes. I charged. So, um, oh no, you charged me. Uh, so, I'm only doing two damage. So, threes. And threes. So, it's one rend. One is the thing? I think it's rend one. What, the lance? The lance. Yeah, it was rend one earlier anyway. Yeah, well, it should still be there. Uh, so six up. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope, so that's two damage, because I didn't charge. Uh, yeah, that's two damage. Still still kicking. Yeah. There are three uh, wounds each. The maw is four attacks, because I'm Legion of Blood. Fours yep. and threes. And threes. Uh, two at Ren two. Uh, straight through. Uh, three. God, that, that kills nice. one. And then the swords, she's taken... 12, did we say? Yeah, 11 she's taken. 11, so she's he's got 5 left with the plus 1 attack. 4s and 3s. Really should have used the command ability if the reroll hits. Uh, 1. Hurt rend 1. 6 up. Nope. 2 damage. And um, that does... So, oh, that's 2 damage. One, yeah, that does kill another one, so I'll take that one off. One wound on one of them. Cool. So, Oops, sorry, chicken dog. Two wrathmongers. So, on a two up, it's a mortal wound. On a six, it's d3. Okay. So, that's two mortal wounds. And how many did we say she'd taken? 12, mm, four, no, 11. So, it's not going to kill her. Uh, but so it puts her on one. Puts her on one. And then they get to hit her. And then they get to hit her. So, so she's looking like a goner. She should. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There. Oh. Sneaky. They are in range of the Blood Secretor and they charged. So they're five attacks each. It's ridiculous. 15. And the Wrathmaster is still there, so he gets an extra one. 15, 16, hitting on threes, wounding on threes, three rolling ones to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, kill the model, so I do get one back. Ah, yeah. Ooh, that reroll ones is a bit good. Those mess, that mess. Look at all them ones. Look at him. He's a filth monger. They're all going to hit reroll rolls. ones only works if you have to roll ones. Yeah, but you only ever roll ones or sixes. That's because I have no middle ground. Look, see, three of them ones have become sixes. It's ridiculous. You only have dice with ones and sixes on. I don't roll. <laughs> like, two through the five. They're the, like, they're the kind of average ones. They're like, rubbish numbers. They're rubbish numbers. Nobody yeah, wants special those numbers. numbers. We only want special numbers. So, one thing on threes. And so we've got one, two, three. That is four. a lot of big numbers. Look at all them four. pips. Four, six, eight, nine saves at minus one. So, four, eight, nine, yeah. fours. Here it comes. All the sixes. So I take one, two, three, four. Okay. Nope, dead. Dead. Yes. Come on. Blood tithe. Blood tithe. <laughs> okay. I've got a little bit of blood oh, tithe. I don't love the bloody blood tithe. Look at the state of me. I've got nothing left. And bravery seven. Oh, so, uh, You've got two corgis to kill that one yet. Uh, they should still be within 24. They are. Yes. Corgarats. Hmm. I need the next priority. Yeah. If I get the next priority, I score five points. And then I think you're going to start mopping up at that point. So 
Cosmo Wrath number one is going to pile around this way. So he's got six attacks. And so I don't have my rerolls up because he's dead. And I'm, but I'm not minus one to hit. No, you're not, yes. funnily enough. So I'm threes and threes. They're not mortal, so they don't get reroll ones. Okay. Stupid snake. They should have a mortal keeper. Um, that'll do. I'm going to be on threes. For three at minus one. Three fours. Come on, lovely dragon boy. Oof, two through. Four damage. How many has he got? Two. And, and three sixes. Mm, denied. Yes, blood dive. Sad day. It's a mm. sad day, Legion's fans. It's... And the other one will pile in three as well. Yep. No so bother. Charged. Yep. That is us now not being able to bring back any units because our general is dead. <sighs> Sad face. Sad oh, face. That's only general that can do it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Normal ones can pull them out of the grave if they're deployed in it, uh, but only a general can recycle units. The only other way uh, is to be a Legion of Sacrament. Wrathmongers have a battle shot to take. One of them runs on a six. Good. Run. No. Why can't you roll sixes when we need? When I need them. Because that's... We yeah, because you need them. That's, mm. it. So that's fine. So you scored your auxiliary for killing three battle line. No, no, I've only scored one auxiliary. So You've far. scored one. You've just got to kill my I've got necromancer. To kill your necromancer to score the last one. Right, and I have to kill your secret. I can't kill that secretor. You've screened him. Uh, so we've got. I've just got to go for the major. Mm. So you score three three points, taking it to fifteen points to thirteen. 15, 13. I need this priority and I get five points. Potentially. I think you didn't get five points yet. One. Oh, You've got it. Good. I have to take it. Otherwise, you and finish me off. Skeletons aren't in combat anymore. No, skeletons are not in combat. So they can they can kill you so great and that would be lovely. Thing is. I'm going to struggle now. Um, I have a caster. He can either Van Hells the Skeletons, Overwhelming Dread something, or try for Geminids. So I'm going to have a quick think. And I'm going to come back. Okay, so it's the last play, really. Um, we've got two units plus a necromancer left. We've got Van Hells off on the skellies. The skellies have charged. They've got quite a big one. They've gone into the warriors there, trying to block that objective. I could have just sat off and scored, but I need to try and reduce the amount of bodies. Um, I've gone here as well into the reavers. So I'm hoping with my first activation, I get to... I get to kill at least the reavers and then I, I can the remove I can remove these mm -hmm. um focus my pi second pile in on the warriors and then hopefully these dogs screen the corgis in your turn I'm hoping that I score 5 this turn and that you only manage to score 3 next turn I think that's the only way I can do it I have to hold one of the center ones for an extra turn yeah otherwise I'm hooped uh, but we're going to roll it. We're going to see what the skellies can do. And we're going to come back.
So, uh, turn is done. Mm-hmm. Um, we lost five skellies, but we killed the Reavers and the Blood Warriors. So, the forces of... That goes off because it's only for one turn. I went for two years nearly playing, um, doing Van Hells for two turns. So, I learned a valuable lesson. Um, so, I score five points, mm-hmm. taking it to... 20 points to 13. 20 to 13. But we are going into um, Blade's turn four. Let's have a quick look at the setup. You're definitely going to score... Hmm. Well, yeah, you've got less bodies. Those corgis are going to have to do some work now. They're going to have to put a shift in. The skellies will to, I die. To, I think I have to put everything into the skeletons. Yeah, the skellies, the skellies are going to go down. But they will get 5d3 back next turn. Unless you can... Them. Unless you can kill the necromancer. No, I, I just have to wipe the skeleton. I can't four. get to the necromancer. I've got to wipe the skeletons. Yeah. Okay. I can't get to the blood secretor. So I've only got one auxiliary. It's been quite nice, that auxiliary, actually. Mm. Right, so we're going into your turn. Yeah. Uh, beginning in the hero phase, you're going to do some blood boiling, aren't you? You're going to roll some sixes, aren't you? Probably. Um, well, we'll come back at the do. end. Um, we'll come back, um, See, just I before want... charges and shooting. This is where I want a third priest with, um, blood sacrifice. I brought back dogs that you killed with friends. Yeah, this is fair. This is fair. Free dogs for everyone. So, um, there's been some blood boiling. Yep. Mm, You rolled a... A five and a two this time. A five and a two. So, not Not as bad. bad. No. Not so bad. Um, But, go on, talk us through. The skulls look back. What else has happened? What's she thinking for this final turn? What do you have to do? I have to kill all of the skeletons. Yeah. And That's then it. and then get priority. Priority is going to be key. Um, uh, I think it's going to matter more than people think. Well, if you get priority, you'll be able to score up to three mm-hmm. victory points because you'll hold your objectives and you probably will be able to snag one of the edge ones. Yeah. Um, and then... And I, if, um, if I kill all the skeletons, I score five. If you score... Three more, that puts me in 23, take my 18. If I score another five, it's a draw. Yeah, I think I think if you make this charge, you're going to win. Because you should be able to get more than five. Mm. And if I don't win the next priority, I've definitely lost. Yeah. So there's a, a nine-inch charge with a re-roll that's pretty critical, though. Yeah, the dogs is going to be the most, most important one initially. Mm-hmm. So... With that in mind, the dogs needing a nine. Nope, that's a five. Come on. Nope, they failed it. That's fine. Well, playing for the fifth turn, don't worry. Yep. So, everything else is going in, basically. Um, so, Corgi. Oh, oh, oh double no one. Way. Double one. Who's your general? Uh, Manticore. So, you should be within 12. Just. Yeah, just. Buy a bar. I'll have to point it. I need that part again. Yeah, yep, there we it's go. in. So that one's in. Um, I'll bring the. Try and keep the dogs out. I don't really want to bring them in yet. Other corgi. Four will be enough. <laughs> just. Living on the edge. Just. <laughs> um, Chaos Lord. Mm, you got three, I suppose. Four. Oh, just. My life, you're cutting it fine here, sir. Yeah. Um, Wrathmongers will need something like a six or a seven. Probably a six, looks like. For the first guy. Eight. That'll Eight do. will do it. Um, there you go. There you go. Well, six gets the front guy in, yeah. so you'll get the next guy's base just to the front guy and yeah. then in behind. Yeah, that's fine. They'll, we've got two-inch reach. They'll all be able to attack. Yep. Bloodstoker. 
not going in. He's going to get in on this. And the slaughter priests are both going in because I need those skeletons dead. <laughs> uh, three is just enough. Yeah. Okay. Happy days. Look at this. I am going to spend a point to reroll saves of one. Yep. I'm going to spend a point for the corgis to reroll hit and wound rolls. Cool. Um, uh, we're not going to roll this on camera. That's going to be a lot. Because there's a lot of dice. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, I only get to roll one unit, so you get to just... Well, what are you going to activate first? Because yeah, that's the, the key thing. thing. I think I'm going to go with the Wrathmongers first. The Wrathmongers are going to go first, right? Yeah. And then I'll need to think, where am I going to take models from? Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just have a look at this for a minute, and then we'll uh, we'll roll it off, and we'll come back. Well, it was bloody, um, jankiness, because he charged, he managed to pile this priest on and take the objective over there, despite the um, skellies being gone. He ended his piling move closer to the dial wolves, which are the closest enemy model than mm -hmm. they were, um, and he claimed it. So yep. five points, because there's no skellies left, um, so that's five points, taking it to... 20 to 18. 20 to 18 with adequate luck. Now, if uh, Legion win priority, it's possible to get a draw because the dogs can run onto an objective and we can make three points this turn, which will take it to 23 mm -hmm. Um Then it's likely... And if I can score your home objective, I win. Yeah. Um, but there's no chance. If if Khan wins now, priority, all it has to do, it doesn't even have to engage, it just has to run the Manticore on one other model onto the objective, and it mm -hmm. goes all. So it's down to a priority. Yep. I'm going with a, a Kankan. Let's yep. see if it works. I should have gone, no, I might be, I should have gone somewhere else. Oh, I should have. Yeah, six. So, six. So go on, let's quickly go through it. Yep. What's your. Um, the. I, mean, I kind of want to kill your wizard, but Manticore only needs to move 12, so... Yeah, he doesn't okay. diminish. He hasn't even been injured. He hasn't been attacked, to be with you. So, really. he, so he gets there. So that's contesting. So, um, so you need one more on that. I, yeah. I, At best, I get a Corgi on, but really, I kill the wizard. Well, let's, let's... Okay, well, we'll play it and see how you do. Yeah. So there you go. Um, the Manticore cut down the Necromancer without any problem. A six up save isn't great. And then one Kargarath crunched up the five dogs for the 10 damage. So um, there's not that many corn left. I'm quite happy with how little there is and they're all a bit blooded. Mm -hmm. But it's nine points. Yep. So what does it take it to at the end of turn four? Of your turn four? At the end of my turn five, rather. Right, your turn five, sorry. Uh, 27 points to 20. 27 to 20, and I don't have a model left. So it ends at that point at 27 to 20. Well done, sir. Yeah, excellent. What's the best model? What's done the best for you? I don't 
don't know. It's it, probably the Blood Secretor, actually. Yeah, I think the Blood Secretor, with all those um, I mean, forcing rerolls, you to re-roll extra spell, attacks, bonus attacks are coming out everywhere. Yeah. The Blood Secretor has been the linchpin holding everything together. And you had enough to screen him. I didn't yeah. have any shooting, so I just couldn't threaten him. Yeah. And, and I think any he. Any kind of shooting army, a Blood Secretor dies first. He just multiplied sort of like the efficiency of the army mm. so much. But no, it was good. I think even if I'd have won that last priority, you'd have won. Probably. The best I could have done would have been three points. Yeah. And I, I'm confident and then you do. Ten dogs go into yeah. five dogs. That, yeah, you did. You did definitely have cleared it. Yeah. Um, or had a blood boil done. Yeah, blood boils. <laughs> Very good. So there you go. Um, Blades of Corn do it. Yeah. And do you... I was expecting Archeon. Yeah, you were, weren't I you? I took the Orb of Enchantment so that I could stop him doing anything and put uh, two dragons I, and Neff I, in. I did go properly off-piste for this one because I didn't even take Bloodthirsters. No. And to be fair, Neff died pretty pretty swiftly, unfortunately. Um, that minus one does, that minus does one make hurts. a difference. Um, you had a lot of debuffing going on with that. and that Only for one hurt. turn, though. Yeah. And then once you got through and you you hit her, and that second round of magic where nothing went off. Yeah, that's where it really went wrong. Where the guy Minus made one. me re-roll all my things. So the Geminids didn't go off, the Swords didn't go off, Overwhelming Dread didn't, didn't go, go off. off. You only had the one minus one penalty applied. Yeah, I think that's where can, things turned. I can hit through that. Yeah. Um, I think... Because I'd, I'd succeed, in, in fact, Overwhelming Dread double cast on a 10, and mm. I had to re-roll it and failed. Yeah. So it made a big difference. Pinion's double cast on a 10 as well. It did, and I had to re-roll that. So, yeah, it's uh, it was good. I think uh, <coughs> cons, I think in the bottom to middle tables and in the fun matchups, it does well. Yeah. Yeah, none, 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 to well, none of us are going to do well against the new filth no. ever. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there's curry in. Yes. Chicken dog. Chicken dog. Look, she lives. She's not dead. There she is. Right, we're going to get some curry. Yep. Um, I'm going to dish, and then we'll uh, we'll maybe think about what's next. Yeah. There we go. Game done. Yep. Congratulations. It's been. Well, we had a couple of draws. Yeah. Well, you've had minors based on deciders, actually, haven't you? You've had a few recent. Yeah, I've three on the bones now. Mm-hmm. Uh, minor and two majors. Yeah, maybe I need to pick something different next week, then. Well, we're going to play Legion next week. We're going to play Legion next week, and that'll break the streak. Yes, hopefully. Hopefully. So we're on a madras. Look at this. This is different. This is the first time I've ever made one. Look at that. This colour. See how it goes. Uh, but no, that was um, so we had a request for random auxiliaries. Yeah, you got that all was yours. A good idea. I, like I thought that. it was good though. I did. It, it almost... I mean, there will be some games that will screw you over. But yeah, that's the way of it. No, I thought that was good. I preferred it to having to sit there and pick. Assume that I was automatic. If you'd have picked that one where it's hold an objective for two turns and battle for the pass, you're never gonna fail. Yeah, because you've got that whole objective. Yeah. So, no, I think that was a good a good option. So we'll do that in future. Yeah. Um, so thank you uh, for suggesting that. Mm-hmm. Um, that was, uh, it was actually one. local to It was Shane who wanted me to play Neff. Ah, okay. And so Neff is good. I love Neff to bits. But yeah. the problem with Martax is four plus save. 11 wounds. 11 wounds and a six up shrug is just not good enough. No. It's not good enough. Uh, it was... Well, not it, when you roll ridiculous blood boils. Well, no. But I just mean in general. Yeah. In, in the game, I think when Legions and Nagash, the book, came out, it was underpowered then. Um, granted, the points have come down heavily. And they have. They've come down by 100 points. Like, Manfred used to be... Mm. 440 or something ridiculous. Yeah, they were all they? well over 400. And now they're 340 for Neff and Manfred and 360 for Arkham. But even so, if you go against a shooting list or somebody who can blood boil for 12 mortal wounds every turn, uh, <laughs> uh, they're, they're just going to fall apart. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's the way with them. But that minus one to hit mm. is big for close combat. Um. 
and when you start stacking it with things like um, overwhelming dread or spirit gale um, and anything else that gives out the negatives like geminids which is what I was trying to do mm. that bad round of casting cost me I think the game. yeah and that was entirely down to the separator mm. making me re-roll all those successful casts just did it mm -hmm. which is good uh, it plays to the strengths of the lay army so I don't mind um, but yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to um, a bit of a, a refresh mm. for legions in the soul blight grave lords I reckon it'll do mm. them a lot of good it's not like that yeah it's not a bad quarry is it no I reckon you've nailed the heat about right yeah I was a bit worried it was going to be a bit mild because of all the um the yogurt but I think it's alright But anybody who comes can have a curry mm -hmm. when you're allowed. People are just not allowed. Oh, we've had another guy. A guy from um, the Netherlands is going to send us some beer. Oh, what? Yeah. So uh, we're going to be um, we're going to be reviewing a bit of um, Dutch beer. Next. Oh, excellent. So I mean, see how it stacks up to Virginia. Mm -hmm. That porter and this and the pills are really nice. Yeah, yeah we've finished that now. Mm -hmm. That was mad. Um, but yeah. Uh, and this is this one and I've got one more mm. kind of this this is like a special edition from Brewdog and then it's gone and I've only got non-alcoholic beer and wine mm. after that I'm not drinking wine on a bat right now I'm like mm. badly bad, bad enough drinking beer I'll need to like come over and stay a night and then we mm. can both get hammered so that'll be fun yeah yeah we should do that yeah or have a Sunday when you've got the Monday off yeah well that's every Sunday mm. But yeah, next week we're going to do Legion, and mm -hmm. you're going to try for 800 points, because why not? We've done Skirmish, we've not played the full game yet, have we? Nope. That needs to change. Mm. And then there's Crisis Pro Call that's coming. Mm -hmm. But uh, AOS is good. I've, I'm into my last five Flesh Eaters, um, my Flayers, then they're done. And we had a vote on the Patreon, and Nagash has won. So Nagash is coming to yes. play against the fat guy from Slanesh. So, and that is that close to an OBR army as well because mm. of my Morgasts and Arcan and things. All I really need is three battle line, and I've got Beast Claw. Uh, not Beast Claw. Uh, I'll see how Bone Reapers. So, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for joining us, mm. and we'll be back next week. Maybe not with AOS though. We'll try and get one of them as well. <laughs>